are human beings really as corrupt as the Bible teaches? Now, the Bible does teach that humans are made in the image of God with infinite dignity, value, and worth. But the Bible also describes that human beings are desperately sick, that our natures have been corrupted because of sin. Is this actually true? Well, if you look at Romans chapter 3, Paul describes, he says, no one is righteous, no, not one. He is very clear that everybody who's ever lived is not righteous for God, and we have all fallen and sinned in some fashion or another. Growing up, my father would often say to me when we'd see something on news or on the television, people would describe it and say, that's inhumane. My dad would stop me, he'd go, son, that act, whatever it was, that evil act, that's not inhumane because humans did it. Inhumane means not human, but humans do some pretty awful, terrible things. That was humane, so to speak. So how would we really know that human beings are as broken as the Bible describes? Well, one way each of us can do is just honestly reflect in our own hearts. And I know this for myself, that I have thoughts that go through my mind and I think, man, I know God doesn't want me to think this. I have seen the things that I've done that are wrong. And my guess is you listening, if you had your thoughts and actions proclaimed to the world or sent out on social media, you would delete those quickly. I think we all know reflecting on our hearts that something is broken like Jesus taught. But there's another way to look at the brokenness of mankind. A colleague of mine at Biola, his name is Clay Jones, and he has probably studied human evil as much as anybody alive today, trying to make sense of it from a Christian perspective. And he wrote an article on the extent of human evil, and he said when he started this journey, he expected that evil would just be by a few individual perpetrators. But what he found is it was done by the masses of people who either contributed or who did nothing to stop it. Take, for example, in Nazi Germany. The Germans at that time knew years ahead of time before electing Hitler that he wanted to exterminate and wipe out the Jews. They knew this. So for example, take a look at just the Holocaust. Up to six million plus people killed. You know, Soviet communists starved out millions of Ukrainians. Communist Chinese leader Mao bragged about burying 46,000 scholars. Paul Pot in Cambodia killed roughly 1.7 to 2.2 million of his own people. We have bloodshed from North Korea. Japanese tortured the Chinese in what's called the Rape of Nanjing. We see bloodshed in Latin America. The Turks slaughtered Armenians. And I'm not gonna leave the US off the hook. There's at least 60 million abortions, not to mention eugenics in the 20th century alone. Friends, I think if we reflect within and just look at the history of the 20th century, it reveals, if we're being honest, that mankind is desperately wicked. Mankind is broken. And that Paul and Jesus and the rest of the scriptures got it right. That human beings are fallen and desperately need a savior.